What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're gonna check out 20 best Royal Rumble surprise entrance ever. Hey, the real question that a lot of us are probably concerned with is who will be some of the surprise entrants for the men's and women's Royal Rumble this year? Hopefully, there's some good ones. I think a lot of us are expecting Cody Rose to be one of the uh surprise entrance uh and you have to use the word surprise loosely in that situation i think a lot of us expect it but i think the the pop will still be you know uh still be great i think people will still be excited it's one of those type of things where it's like uh if you guys remember when edge had returned i think uh to the royal rumble a few years ago and it was all it was rumored that he was coming back like it was all over the dirt sheets all this other stuff but when he actually came out there the pop was fantastic crowd went crazy and i think it's more or less going to be the same here i think one of the ones that was a real surprise um aj styles making his debut at the royal rumble that was that was pretty impressive. I, I'm not sure if a lot of people knew about that, but I definitely did not see that coming at all when it originally happened. So we're going to check this out. Should be a good one. Appreciate all the love and support you guys are showing on channel. Rumble, rumble, right man. I want to be a rumble, man. Look, everyone forget last year. The rumble's the best time of the wrestling calendar year. And why do we love yeah, it so much? Last year's was awful. Lovely surprises. Oh Returns from injury. Calls up from NXT. Beloved nostalgia pops. All the fun of the fair. Anyway, shut the hell up. There's 20 of these bastards and we're burning daylight. I'm Adam Hailing from Parts Far Known. And here are 20 best Royal Rumble surprise entrants ever. Let's also, there's it. been loads of Royal Rumble content this month. Go back and watch it. And then watch the Royal Rumble. Tell us what you thought in the comments. I, please be good. Please be good. Yeah, I'm this video this is sponsored too. by Raid Shadow Legends. The Shout out to them getting the bag, man. Someone out there will well actually me on this, but I'm pretty sure that Bob Backlund strolling into the 2000 Royal Rumble mid running for Congress after being out of WWE for four years is one of the first ever like surprise returns in Rumble history. I think I think it, I think it is. <laughs> His face, I think it is, gang. Gets a monster pop, too, from the hardcore New York crowd. Then proceeds to do, uh, well, bollock all in the actual match itself. But, gosh, they make a lot of noise for him. I had no <laughs> idea who he was when I was a fan. Number 19, Lita 2018. The first surprise entry nah, that the was first a good one. women's Royal that Rumble. That was a good Lita one. gets a kind of heartwarmingly large reaction you'd expect from a legend last seen wrestling on pay-per-view back in 2006 before Crime Time came out to sell her dildo for 25 bucks and not <laughs> Sure, she almost kills Sasha and Becky with the lead assault, but it's still good. Still good. Number 18, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, 2009. Oh, ridiculous. The first <laughs> official winner of the Royal Rumble likes to pop in now and again to shout ho, wave a stick around, and remind everyone that they're in America. He's done it a bunch of times, but by far the best one was in 2009 where he turned up, no top on lad, <laughs> to you, and the crowd went mental for him, roaring along with the insane bus stop grandpa. 17, Gold Dust 2013. The closest that WWE ever came to doing Cody versus Dustin properly. Mm -hmm. You kept either ignoring or f***ing up. But don't worry, no good matches ever came from Cody versus Dustin. Oh, <laughs> Monster Pop yeah. Gold Dust, this, who was making his checks notes. Fifth return to the company. But was also in the best shape of his life. So much so that he stuck with the company for years after. Number 16, Mr. Perfect 2002. Man, I wish when I first started watching wrestling that I knew Mr. Perfect was because I would have lost my tiny mind watching him return the 2002 Royal Rumble. Kurt Hennig strolled in with the same swagger and lasted to the final three before getting eliminated by Triple H and shame about the rest of his short run in the company afterwards. Number Hell. 15, Christian 2021. This would rank this. so much higher if Christian actually returned in front of a live crowd. Yeah. He had been seen in ring for seven years since he retired to protect yeah. his lovely brain. Made his return at the 2021 Royal Rumble. Had a that lovely was a good cuddle moment. with his brother and boyfriend Edge. Something <laughs> that would have been tear-inducingly nice if there had been more than gifts for fans in attendance. Also, yeah, man, I, I really, ah, uh, man. Pandemic era of uh, rest, uh, WWE was just, well, just pandemic in general, but it, it really hit wrestling hard. That would have been a great moment to 
been seen in front of a, a live audience. LOL immediately went to AW afterwards. Number 14, Diesel, 2011. The gap between how I happy fans were one. to see someone and how little they actually ended up doing has never been larger than Diesel's return at the 2011 Rumble. Holy <laughs> shit. People were happy to see the worst WWE champion of all time getting the kind of monster pop that makes the Rumble uh -huh. so special. Look at Kofi's face. There are thunderous <laughs> Let's Go Diesel chants, the kind that the company never heard in 1990. Five, and he walks around, punches some people before being eliminated by Wade Barrett, I guess. Bye-bye. Number 13, <laughs> Rob Van Dam, 2009. Nothing compliments a shocking rumble return than JR screaming, it can't be. It's just <laughs> to say with Michael Cole shouts, oh my. In 2009, after two years away, Ronald Van Donald returned for one Ronald Van Donald. usually heading back to the Indies. He arrived, got a monster pop, delivered mm. all the signature offense, didn't do a whole lot of important stuff, but everyone was very happy. Story of RVD's post-2006 WWE career, to be honest. Yeah. Speaking of ECW, number 12, Bubba Ray Dudley, 2015. A fact that often goes unremembered before Daniel Bryan was eliminated, the 2015 Royal Rumble was really good. Bray mm -hmm. Wyatt got to conduct a sermon, interact with the boogeyman, which was brief and fun. Mm -hmm. DDP had a fun return too, but best of all, Bubba Ray Dudley returned for one night and he was greeted with such rapturous yeah, he was. that him and Devon both got a nostalgia run later that year. And it was mm -hmm. also very funny to see Bubba Ray run through all the signature Dudley spots with just the closest black guy you could find. Yep, they our really, truth. really, really liked this one before they really didn't like yep. everything else. Number 11, Rey Mysterio, 2018. God, the 2018 Royal Rumble was mint. Genuinely one of the greatest of all time due to its clever structure, solid through lines, and blistering final stretch. With the roster being quite deep at the time, mm -hmm. unlike the women's roster, there were not many returns here. Hurricane swung by to say hello. <laughs> Hurricane. Rey Mysterio arriving to a much nicer ovation in his last Rumble in 2014. Yeah. And in the shape of his life, returning to the company after a spell in Lucha Underground, he looked great, still wrestled like... Hey, shout out to Rey, man still out there putting on pretty great matches like pretty good matches and still looks like uh he was saying in great shape after all these years man that is just a testament to you know just someone having the love for wrestling and the love for the business it's always good you can never go wrong with Ray. I love me some Ray Mysterio. I will always love Ray, bro. Ray is, he he has a special place in my heart. Uh, it's just that one time he came at number 30 and everyone wanted Daniel Bryan. It's just, he... <laughs> wrong time, wrong place, Ray. But we still love you, Ray. Your son? Fuck that guy. Nah, nah, Dominic's doing some pretty good work as a heel. I love it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Like a whippet and contributed to the ace old versus new narrative of the final six. Number 10, Ty Dillinger, 2017. Very occasionally, mm -hmm. you want WWE to Whoa. do the thing. Then WWE actually does the thing. Yeah. So you say, yay, they did the thing. I like it when that happens. And in 2017, which is not actually a good rumble year, despite the megastars involved, they did the thing. Yeah. Ty Dillinger, a man who got super over in NXT by being obsessed with the number 10. 10. Got called up and entered the Rumble at number 10. 10 One yep. of the few times that the main roster of WWE <laughs> actually seemed to understand the NXT prospect they had on their hands. Heartwarming, fun. And I fun. remember that. The crowd, once he came out and it was him, the crowd went crazy and they were just chanting 10. That was, I was like, bro, you, it only makes sense. In my in my mind, I always felt like Vince would be the type of person to debut Ty Dillinger at 9 or at 11 instead of 10, just, just to mess with the fans. Funny. Number nine, Booker T, 2011. This return is both beautiful and terrible. Beautiful <laughs> Booker T after four years away. He gets a humongous pop, mm -hmm. does all his moves to the fans, prolapsing themselves in joy, looks great, gets eliminated. Bro, wait, right did y'all see that sign? Did y'all see the sign? Does all his moves. We coming for you. <laughs> And all it just says is in. We come in for you. And it's the whitest guy with some glasses holding up the side. That is great. That just made this whole picture fantastic. We coming for you in. Moves to the fans prolapsing themselves. Look at it. Just the whitest guy holding up the sign with glasses. I love it, man. <laughs> Looks great. Gets eliminated at the right time to put heat on the heel faction running the rumble. Pretty much perfect in terms of a nostalgia return. That was fun. Could have done without Matt Stryker shouting, It's a mark out moment. I'm marking out, bro, on commentary. And yeah. repeatedly clapping into a live mic. 
That's not Booker T's fault, I suppose. Number eight, Trish Stratus, 2018. The first ever number 30 in the first ever women's mm. rumble for the first ever women in WWE was reserved for a very special guest, the Doctor of Stratus Factology. It's always nice to see Trish Stratus. She's unironically beloved by all, although this mm -hmm. return does rank slightly lower for the baffling decision to not have her and Lita share the ring at the same fucking time. Yeah, that that was a missed opportunity. Truly lovely, though. Number yeah, seven, missed Chris opportunity. Jericho, 2013. A major Royal Rumble surprise return. That was actually a surprise. Mm -hmm. Delightful. With the plethora of wrestling news that exists, it's very hard to have a major Royal Rumble return happen without it being hinted at by the wrestling media. Yeah. TJ thought, sod that, and shocked everyone. Mm -hmm. Six months after Dolph Ziggler ran him out of WWE <clears throat> like Armin Tanzarian, after Dolph walked in, at number one, Jericho returned at number two, and no one knew it was coming. Which was good. Lovely stuff. Number six, Mick Foley, 2004. In 2003, Randy Orton adopted the gimmick that truly made him the legend killer gimmick. One of the legends killed was Mick Foley, mm -hmm. who Randall punted down the stairs and essentially drove out the company, which made Foley's return at the 2004 Rumble all the sweeter. Mm -hmm. Orton had been in the ring for half an hour when Foley came back. <laughs> I, I remember that. Foley literally just came there to eliminate Randy Orton. I remember that shit. That shit was funny, bro. His all, it wasn't even for him to win. I'm just here to eliminate him. <laughs> Took his spot and immediately wrecked Randy. <laughs> Kamikaze himself and Randy out of the ring. It's an awesome payoff. That was Five, great. Three of Foley, 1998. And I remember Foley this. For a moment, the 1998 Rumble is a bit crap. It has some moments. Owen Hart and Jeff Jarrett do some fun stuff, and the Rumble accomplishes some important things. I remember the this. Is the match is Iron Man, but it's crammed full of mid carders who'd never win this thing in a million years, making it feel very samey throughout. JR spends the entire Rumble asking when Austin's going to show up, you know, like he's fing poochie. The one treasured memory, though, Mick Foley wearing all three faces of Cactus Jack at number one. Mankind uh -huh. at number 16 and Dude Love at number 28. Mm -hmm. All of them appearing throughout the match. It is very sweet. Number four, I Keith that Lee, one. 2020. Yeah, this one's just for me. But it's uh, also a wonderful moment. Definitely the best NXT Rumble call up. That one. was cool. His face off with Brock. I was like, hmm. Mmm. I think a lot of us was enjoying what we were seeing in front of us, man. Well, maybe Shayna Baszler earlier that night, but that wasn't really a surprise. She was heavily tipped to win the thing. Yeah. This was a joyous shock. North American champion Keith Lee striding into the Royal Rumble to stand face to face with an infatuated Brock Lesnar yeah. and punking his Minnesotan ass out. Yeah. It's my favorite thing. That was Number good. Number three, AJ Styles Called 2016. It. Unlike I said this at the beginning of the video, man. AJ Styles coming out there was fucking insane <laughs> Jericho's 2013 return everyone kind of knew that AJ Styles would probably possibly maybe be mm -hmm. headed towards WWE he strenuously denied it every turn but even so people thought oh maybe he'll go to NXT maybe he'll be in the Rumble but probably not Vince is yeah. TNA guys after all boom nope he's in at number three that was number wild fucking three Sure, they f***ed up the camera angle, thanks, Kev. But Styles walked into WWE to immediately square up to WWE mm -hmm. champion Roman Reigns. And it was a wonderful, uncanny surprise. That was Number great. Number two, Edge. Both of them. Yep. Two all-time yep. great returns <laughs> 10 years apart. In 2010, oh. after being on the shelf for six months, Edge returned, speared everyone, mm -hmm. came face-to-face -face with his former tag partner before ousting them from the match. Ten years later, after being on the shelf for nine years, Edge returned, uh. speared everyone, came face to face with his former tag partner before ousting them from the match. On both occasions, the fans went mental Nuts. and it became an instant classic rumble moment. Facts. However, you could argue that fans guessed both returns were coming, unlike number one, John Cena, 2008. That's a good one. That's a real, that, that's, that actually is a good number one. I have still vividly remember it remember it jim ross calling it no one thought because he had just got injured no one thought and it was a serious injury i forgot exactly i'm sure he, he'll say exactly what it was but it was a serious injury no one thought he would get back that soon i think he was only out for like maybe four months or something like that 
I think the turn the turntable or the turnaround for an injury like that originally, I think it was like maybe half a year, came back in like four months or something, something crazy. And he was in the Royal Rumble. And people were like, what? Everyone was shocked. I was shocked. Crowd went crazy. I was just like, how is he back so quick from a serious injury? That was insane. Hey, the quintessential Rumble return. The top guy in the company at number 30, returning months before anyone could have expected. Yeah. Surprising every single person in that building. Hell, it was so shocking that John Cena drew a rapturous pop yeah. out of the Madison Square Garden crowd. And I want you to understand, this is a hardcore crowd that with any other time would boo John Cena. But the and this is around the time he was getting booed a lot from the, the older male audience. Bruh, he came back, Madison Square Garden, and the roof went off the place because no one thought he would get back that soon. No one thought he was going to be the guy to come back in a Royal Rumble. Hardcore New York fans who f***ing hated him all the time and still lost their collective minds. It's still the best return of all time and one of the reasons why you can never rule out anything when it True. comes to the Royal Rumble fight me and that's our list true. what's your true 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 very very true it's gonna be interesting to see what happens in this year's royal rumble i am looking forward to seeing any potential surprises of course i think a lot of us expect cody to come into the royal rumble the question is at what number either way the pop is going to be great because we haven't seen cody in uh uh in quite some time due to his injury and uh i'm just i'm just ready to see how things play out. I'm looking forward to the Royal Rumble. Y'all have no idea. It's going to be a great time, man. So comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite Royal Rumble surprise entrance of all time, man. I appreciate y'all, you know, uh, showing the love and support on the channel, man. I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champ of the world. And um, yeah, man, we're, we'll see what how things play out. But I uh, appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all uh, next time. Peace.